I started making games around six months ago and I decided to remake the first game I ever made to show how much my skills have grown and you can play it for free. Me? Yes, you. You can play it for free today. Wait, wait, really? Oh, oh my God! So if you know anything about me, which you probably don't, which is fine. But I mean, like you don't need to really know anything about me, but like it would be nice because like I like attention, then you would know that I make video games. Specifically, I'm new to making games and very, very bad. Gilbert. Uh, yes, master. This footage here contains the first game I ever made. I feel like now with my current progress, I could remake this and make it actually much better. I, I think. Gilbert. Here you go, master. Ah, thank you. It's basically about a penguin that is trying to defend their eggs from evil walruses. And that's it, really. The original the original game was super janky. You can move left and right and shoot snowballs, but the gameplay is super unpolished and does not work well. My main goal is to make the game a lot more fun. Now that I have a plan set, it's time to open up the lovely Unity game engine and get cooking. So I start things off with an executive decision to make the game 2D instead of 3D. But, 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 but why would you? Shh, shh, hush your little mouth. This decision was just made because I felt like the gameplay style of the game would melt a lot better with the 2D style. Also, I don't really know how to 3D model, so this is just easier for me. So I went on to make a penguin character. What the hell? I made a penguin character and made it so you can shoot snowballs towards your mouse direction. Next up, I made a walrus so that you have something to fling your balls at. After all that was cemented, I added some animations and particles to make it nice and pretty. On a real note though, this is looking really good already. The animations definitely gave it a nice feel. I mean, just look at that. God damn! I'm very proud of this shoot animation. I got a health bar working, so now you have three eggs. And when a walrus survives and gets in the area under you, he eats an egg. Because he is a monster and has no empathy. He knows no boundaries or morals. But the walruses kind of just like spawn out of nowhere. So I went on to make an igloo. Because you know what they say? Igloos are... They're, they're igloos. They're... Yep. Anyways, this gameplay is feeling kind of flat though, so why not add some more weaponry, specifically an alternate fire? The original game actually did have a secondary fire, but it was absolutely atrocious and didn't work at all. So I'm thinking of reworking it kind of to add some gameplay variety. I decided to add these splitter snowballs that split on impact, kind of like the blue angry bird, or at least I think. I haven't played that game in like 10 years, but I remember it like splitting up or something. So I also wanted to add some enemy variety as well. So I made this big tank walrus. He takes over double the shots to kill, but he's slower than your uncle Rodney. Come on, Rodney, hit the gym, bro. This is an intervention. You know what your uncle Rodney does have going for him though? He subscribed to this channel. So please hit that button, guys, please. Now that there's a new enemy type, I reworked the spawner script so now over time the spawn intervals get lower and lower, and I proceed to iron out some bugs and rework some of the visuals. Okay, at this point the game has a full gameplay loop and I would definitely say that this is better than that stinky poo poo that was the original game, but it still feels like there's something missing. Something to keep the player motivated and playing and feeling like they're kind of improving or growing. So I added upgrades and an economy to the game. The way it works is that there's there's like a 20% chance that upon defeating an enemy, they will drop a gold coin that you collect by hovering over it. But you gotta be careful, if you don't hover it in time, the boogeyman will come for you. With that money, you can upgrade your primary fire to have a smaller cooldown and higher velocity. And I also put the secondary fire behind a 4 coin paywall because I am evil. And with that, it just needs some game balancing because lord, this game needs balancing. And I very much understand why so many games lack balancing, like this game. Boom, this game, boom, this game, boom. I'm gonna keep saying boom, boom. Finally, I wrapped up some UI changes and added a main menu and game over screen that records your time taken on a run so you can compare with your jolly companions who is better at the game. And finally, the game is done. Sure, this game may lack sound effects, content, end game, variety, fun, 
but I think this game really demonstrates how much my game dev skills have grown in the past six months and stumps the original out of the water. I mean, just look at that. Ew, so gross. Ew. If you want to play this game, I have an itch.io link in the description. And there's also a link to the original game if for some reason you want to put yourself through that torture. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. See ya.